It's one of the things I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps. We didn't discover it until 1820, and yet it's on maps drawn in the 1500s with great detail. Hidden beneath the icy surface lies a secret world unknown to many. Despite its proximity to human exploration, Antarctica remains as distant as the furthest stars. Exploring this frozen wilderness is a daring and risky adventure in the search of truth. It is here that everything started, and th this remarkable discovery is a clear testament to the incredible journey undertaken. Renowned explorer and author Graham Hancock has recently caused a worldwide stir by leaking classified documents that expose the existence of a hidden jungle in Antarctica. With a career defined by groundbreaking discoveries and contentious theories, Hancock's revelations have sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community and enraptured the minds of millions. Hancock's path to prominence began years ago when he set out on a relentless quest to unravel the mysteries of our ancient past. Fueled by an insatiable curiosity and an unwavering conviction in the forgotten wisdom of our ancestors, he emerged as a leading figure in alternative archaeology and exploration. Throughout his illustrious career, Hancock was challenging mainstream narratives and expanded the frontiers of our knowledge. His groundbreaking book, Fingerprints of the Gods, became a global sensation, presenting compelling evidence for advanced civilizations predating recorded history. This seminal work thrust forgotten marvels like the Pyramids of Giza and the enigmatic Nazca Lines into the spotlight, sparking generations to question the true origins of humankind. Hancock's unwavering pursuit of truth eventually led him to Antarctica, a frozen continent steeped in enigma and secrecy. The leaked documents now reveal his covert expeditions to the vast southern wilderness, where he made a jaw-dropping discovery, a thriving hidden jungle beneath the icy surface. This revelation challenges our preconceived notions about Antarctica and its ecological possibilities, suggesting the existence of a world lost or suspended in time. Although met with both awe and skepticism, the leaked documents attest to Hancock's lasting impact and unwavering commitment to unveiling ancient mysteries. His audacious defiance of mainstream academia and unrelenting dedication to research have garnered a devout following, eagerly anticipating each new revelation. Hancock's remarkable exploration of Antarctica's hidden jungle raises profound questions about our planet's past and the potential troves of hidden knowledge that it holds. Could this discovery unlock the secrets of ancient civilizations and their advanced wisdom? In what other mysteries lie concealed within the icy confines of Antarctica waiting for discovery? Have you ever wondered where the oldest DNA on Earth can be found? Let me take you on a captivating journey to the mysterious world of a two million year old ecosystem that has left researchers baffled. But hold on tight, because we're also going to explore the fascinating and unsettling discoveries scientists have made deep beneath the icy surface of Antarctica. Antarctica boasts more than just ice shelves and hungry polar bears. In a shocking twist, evidence has emerged suggesting that the ancient supercontinent, Gondwana, once bloomed with vibrant flora and was home to diverse and exotic creatures. Fossilized remains of dinosaur-like reptiles known as mosasaurs have been unearthed, hinting at a time when Antarctica was a tropical paradise, teeming with prehistoric life. These incredible findings challenged everything that we thought we knew about the history of our planet and its polar extremes. The South Pole is the coldest place on Earth, with temperatures plummeting to unimaginable depths. In fact, the lowest recorded temperature in Antarctica was a staggering negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Such extreme cold has given rise to bizarre phenomena, including peculiar ice quakes that reverberate across the frozen landscape. These seismic events, caused by the contraction and expansion of ice due to the temperature fluctuations, create an otherworldly symphony that echoes to the desolate plains of the southernmost continent. Let us start with the brave explorer Ernest Shackleton who decided to pursue his education at the University of Alberta. Shackleton and his fearless companions embarked on a perilous adventure into uncharted territory. Facing treacherous terrain and hostile environments, the biting winds, vast ice fields, and icy glaciers frightened even the most courageous among them. Little did they know that they were about to stumble upon the frozen remains of a long-lost rainforest. Now imagine the chills running down your spine as you contemplate the existence of this ancient rainforest. It's truly captivating and a little unsettling to think about a thick, swampy forest thriving near the South Pole despite months of darkness and harsh conditions. What makes it even more intriguing is the fact that Antarctica is a unique region that doesn't legally belong to any country. Instead, it's subject to rules established by various treaties and conventions. One of the primary international agreements that regulate Antarctica is the Antarctic Treaty System, originally signed by 12 countries in 1959. This treaty has been joined by many more over the years. It designates Antarctica as a protected scientific area, 
prohibiting military use, mineral extraction, and nuclear testing. Moreover, it encourages international cooperation and the sharing of scientific information amongst the treaty's signatory countries. Scientists have made exciting discoveries about an ancient rainforest that existed in Antarctica about 90 million years ago. In February of 2017, a sample of sediment was taken from the Edmondson Sea, off the coast of West Antarctica. This sample turned out to be fossilized remains from a rainforest that had once thrived in a tropical or subtropical climate. By using CT scans, researchers were able to study the sample in detail. They found fossilized plant pollen, spores, and an intricate root system. What surprised everyone the most was the location of this ancient rainforest. It appears that the conditions near the South Pole, where Antarctica is now, were unexpectedly mild for a tropical rainforest to exist. This discovery supports the idea that Antarctica may have been a warmer climate in the past, before it transformed into the icy wasteland continent that we know it as today. Graham Hancock, a well-known British researcher, has suggested this is based on geological evidence and historical maps that show Antarctica without an ice cap. According to Hancock, catastrophic events may have occurred, leading to the destruction of a once-advanced civilization that possessed extensive knowledge and advanced technologies. Additionally, Hancock draws attention to satellite images revealing pyramid-like formations and geometrical shapes, which add fuel to the theories about Antarctica's hidden history and reports of ancient ruins buried beneath the ice. Scientists believe that the absence of a significant ice sheet covering Antarctica during that time is responsible for the temperate climate observed in the ancient West Antarctic forest, with an average yearly temperature of around 12 degrees Celsius. It appears that the concentration of carbon dioxide was much higher than previously predicted. The research team collected a core sample of fossilized Cretaceous forest soil near the Pine Island Glacier in West Antarctica to investigate further. They achieved this by using a mobile seafloor drill rig controlled from the research vessel RV Polarstem. When we initially assessed the sample on board the ship, the unusual coloration of the sediment layer immediately caught our attention, said Johann Kleggs, the study's lead author and geologist at the Alfred Wegener Institute. The layers above and below it were distinctly different, and preliminary studies indicated that they had stumbled upon a layer formed on land rather than underwater, approximately 27 to 30 meters below the ocean floor. When scientists used a special type of scanning technology called X-ray CT scans on a the sample, they made an amazing discovery. The scans revealed something extraordinary. A complex network of roots preserved so perfectly that they could see the inner workings of individual cells. It was like looking at a detailed map of a plant's underground system. This finding was made in a layer of soil made up of fine-grained clay and silt, which is commonly found in forests. This discovery was even more fascinating because they found some of the earliest flowering plants ever discovered in such a southern part of the world. These plants were found alongside other fossilized pollen and spores from different plants. Professor Ulrich Salzmann from Northumbria University explained that this meant that about 93 to 83 million years ago, the coast of West Antarctica was a swampy landscape with a temperate rainforest. This rainforest was similar to the forest that we can still see today in places like New Zealand's South Island. Now here's where it gets real interesting. Imagine a rainforest thriving at about 82 degrees south latitude, which is about 900 kilometers from where the South Pole used to be 90 million years ago. That's mind-boggling. For four months of the year, this forest would have been in total darkness due to the polar night. So how did that manage to survive? That's the big question here. To understand this ancient rainforest and its climate, scientists looked at a period between 115 to 80 million years ago, when the Earth's climate was the hottest that it had been in the last 140 million years. They found that temperatures in the tropical seas could have reached a scorching 35 degrees Celsius, and the sea level was about 170 meters higher than it is today. Scientists obtained a sediment core to dig deeper into the climate of the southern polar region during the middle of the Cretaceous era. It was like a, like a time capsule, holding valuable information about the past. To make sense of it all, they went through a step-by-step -step process. First, they studied the climate conditions in which the modern descendants of the plants found in the rainforest live. Now that gave them a better idea of what the climate might have been like during the warmest place of the Cretaceous. Next, they analyzed the soil sample for any signs of temperature or moisture changes using biological or geochemical indicators. This in-depth study aimed to uncover details about the weather conditions and the ancient West Antarctic rainforest, including average air and water temperatures and stuff like that, all science stuff. Overall, these analyses provided a glimpse into the mild climate that allowed the swampy rainforest to thrive around 19 million years ago. The results revealed that the rainforest received moderate rainfall, similar to what we see in Wales today, with an average of about 104 centimeters per year. The air temperature averaged about 12 degrees Celsius annually. During the summer months, it reached an average of 19 degrees Celsius. Even in the water, the rivers and swamps warmed up to about 20 degrees Celsius. Scientists developed climate models to understand just how these conditions were even possible. 
The model suggests that if Antarctica was covered in dense vegetation and had little to no ice and carbon dioxide levels were much higher than previously thought, well then the climate could have been as they discovered. These findings emphasize how important polar ice sheets are for maintaining stable global temperatures. They also demonstrate the significant impact that carbon dioxide has on our planet. We now know that there could easily be four straight months without sunlight in the Cretaceous, said Thurston Beckert, a geoscientist at the University of Bremen. But because the carbon dioxide concentration was so high, the climate around the South Pole was nevertheless temperate without ice masses. However, there is still a big mystery waiting to be solved. What caused the planet to cool down enough to bring back the ice sheets? Although scientists have run climate simulations, they don't know. They have not found the answer yet. Undoubtedly, climatologists will focus their attention on investigating and understanding the mechanisms behind this cooling phenomenon. Recent scientific analysis of fossilized remains discovered in sediment core samples from the Edmondson Sea in Antarctica reveal the surprising secret. An unexpectedly mild climate once existed in this frozen land. So, what caused this remarkable phenomenon? Well, climate models suggest that the ancient rainforest flourished due to significantly higher levels of carbon dioxide of the atmosphere and the absence of ice sheets in the South Pole at the time. It's pretty fascinating to think about how this revelation aligns with the history of Antarctic exploration. On a chilly day, back on January 27th of 1820, a Russian expedition led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen, a Mikhail Lazarev, accomplished a remarkable feat. They were the first to formally identify Antarctica as a distinct landmass. However, it remains unclear about what indigenous peoples like the Polynesians knew about Antarctica before the arrival of the Europeans. Perhaps they had already come across its ice shelves and islands before anybody else set foot on that continent. As explorers ventured into this frozen frontier, our understanding of Antarctica expanded. Visionaries such as James Clark Ross, who led an expedition there in the 1830s, and the intrepid Robert Falcon Scott, a British explorer who embarked on multiple trips in the early 1900s, made significant contributions to mapping and exploring this enigmatic land. But let's fast forward to the present day, where modern scientific advancements continue to unravel the mysteries concealed within Antarctica's icy embrace. The British Antarctic Survey recently made an extraordinary discovery. The presence of a swiftly moving river flowing beneath the Antarctic ice sheet. Aptly named the Rapid Access Ice Drill System, this subglacial river was found in West Antarctica, beneath the woodland ice stream. Scientists employed an innovative approach to uncover the hidden river's secrets. They drilled holes into the ice and deployed instruments to measure various parameters, such as water temperature and velocity. Surprisingly, the subglacial river was found to be moving at an astonishing speed of approximately 3.5 kilometers per year. Understanding these hydrological systems beneath the Antarctic ice sheet is crucial because they play a pivotal role in the sheet's mobility. But the wonders of the icy realms are not limited to Antarctica alone, of course. With its vast icy landscapes, Greenland also holds clues to Earth's ancient past. In a remarkable scientific feat, researchers managed to extract ancient DNA from sediment samples obtained from Perry Island, Greenland's northernmost region. These genetic remnants allowed scientists to glimpse into an ecosystem that existed a staggering two million years ago, but they got to look right at it. The sediments from Perryland's past revealed a seeking contrast to its present-day polar desert environment. Instead of barren landscapes, the ancient DNA revealed a vibrant world teeming with trees, caribou, and mastodons. Interestingly, some of the plant and animal species found in this ancient ecosystem still thrive in the Arctic regions today, while others can only be found in the temperate boreal forests. The study, led by evolutionary geneticist Professor Esk Willerslev from the University of Cambridge, emphasized the uniqueness of this ancient ecosystem, which lacks a contemporary equivalent. Prior to this discovery, the oldest recovered DNA was a mere million years old. A measly, insig- a paltry million. However, the analysis of ancient DNA from Cap Kornhaven, a fossil rich site within Perryland, has propelled scientific progress even further. The sedimentary formation there incorporates both land and estuarine sediments, widening the scope of potential ancestral records. Surprising findings emerged from the latest DNA analysis. The study revealed the presence of 102 plant families, with 24 of them never being seen before in the fossil records of the formation. Additionally, the researchers identified nine animal species, including horseshoe crabs, hares, geese, and mastodons. These astounding revelations open a window into the distant past and provide valuable insights into the Earth's climatic history. Turns out that mastodons, these huge prehistoric creatures, these big entities, were found at an unlikely place, the Arctic. Yeah? No, they... This finding came as a complete shock because we don't usually associate mastodons with cold, icy regions. But how did scientists come to this conclusion? Well, they conducted an ancient DNA study that revealed some truly mind-blowing information about the ecosystem of that time. Scientists used tiny bits of DNA, 
DNA can be found in various places, like when a leaf falls off a tree or when an animal sheds a hair. Even when a rabbit dies and decays in the forest, its DNA is released into the environment. This environmental DNA, or eDNA for short, doesn't stick around for long. It tends to degrade quickly thanks to enzymes that break it down. However, DNA molecules combine with sediments in certain chemical environments, creating a protective barrier that preserves them. Back in 2006, a team of researchers began collecting sediments from a place called Perryland. They were on a mission to uncover the secrets of the past, but the technology wasn't really advanced enough at the time to fully analyze the DNA in those sediments. Over the years, the scientists eagerly awaited new developments in DNA extraction and sequencing technology. With every new breakthrough, they attempted to reanalyze the samples, hoping to unlock the secrets hidden within. Unfortunately, as you could probably guess, they faced numerous obstacles along the way. And their progress was slow, seemed like they were hitting roadblock after roadblock. However, a few years ago, researchers finally made a breakthrough. They were able to successfully extract DNA that had been severely damaged. It was really like finding a needle in a haystack. This achievement was crucial because it opened the door to comparing the ancient DNA pieces with the genomes of modern species. By comparing DNA sequences, scientists could determine if some extinct species were the ancestors of the animals that we see today. It really was like uh, uncovering a long-lost family tree and discovering our relatives from centuries ago. According to one of the researchers named Willerslev, about two million years ago, there was a place called Cap Kornhaven. It was a forested coastal area with a river that flowed into an estuary. This river played a vital role in preserving the land-based DNA samples and carrying them into the sea, where they remained protected for future study. And this explains why researchers found caribou DNA alongside fossils of horseshoe crabs, which are now only found much further south. Could you imagine caribou and horseshoe crabs living side by side in a long lost paradise? It's like a scene out of a fantasy movie. The scientists discovered even more fascinating details about this ancient ecosystem. They found traces of coral, fleas, ants, and even lemmings in the DNA samples. Thinking about that kind of rich biodiversity that once thrived in Cap Colnavon, that's it's. It's cool. It's just cool. You know, it's incredible. Picture yourself walking through the vibrant forest, hearing the buzzing of insects and seeing lemmings scurrying around. Must have been like a, a magical place, you know, a uh, land before time. Whoa. What do you think about the remarkable discovery of a hidden jungle in Antarctica?